<laughs> uh, oh, they want their little gold jacket back. <laughs> what a narrow, dangerous freeway. Uh, these monorail designers, they have a one-track mind. Hmm, why do you lash out like that? I don't know. Oh, here comes my train. I gotta catch it. That's my train. I gotta catch it. I gotta... Oh, never mind. Isn't it great there's only white people here? <laughs> We're crushing pigeons. It's fun. Yes, Seattle, like a beautiful child growing up free and wild. I'm going insane. I really am insane. <laughs> Look, there's Pearl Jam. A kid in a Jack Nicholas cult or what? Oh boy, this is our first visit to Pat Boone World. <laughs> All passengers must leave the train at this terminal. Round trip passengers turn to your left as you leave the train. Yeah, I'm driving the bottle real drunk, Just so what? Right. Let's start Microsoft here. The only bathroom in the fair is up there. Well, I'm glad to know that the future has constant organ music. Dashing through the snow, horses can sleigh. They're eating Marge Simpson hair. Morrissey's wild mouse. Well, yeah, I guess. Uh, a young Mike Nelson visits the fair. <laughs> Frank Lloyd Wright. Oh. Oh, look at that great gifts from Germany. What's that? Braunschweiger, cars with heaters that don't work, and identification papers. No problem. Okay, you pull, it'll symbolize our looming marriage. Hey, get your own mouth suit made. But that's okay, just touch me wherever you want. That's fine. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's my microphone. Come on, let's go grope that Eskimo. Oh come on, you're gay and you know it. Hi, you have a weird red spot on your head. <laughs> the Church of Science. Lenny Riefenstahl direct this? You know, I just think if we went to back to the peep show for a few minutes, it could be really good. I mean, it's kind of science when you think about it, anatomy and stuff. I mean... <laughs> Ren and Stimpy music. <laughs> Polyester, how can it work for you? These are actual gel molecules. <gasps> what a beautiful complex carbohydrate. It's a brand new 1962 double helix. It also goes round and round. Pretty. <laughs> How do animals learn? Well, as long as they learn to taste good, I don't really care. <laughs> Here, you're a geek. Why don't you bite the head off this bird? Now, we roast this squab with new potatoes, and it's only $5.99. Okay, folks, I'm writing code for a Java applet here. This pigeon also does caricatures at parties. Hey, Robert Duvall visits the World's Fair. <sighs> Celebrating Pride Week at the fair. I'm gay! And I feel good about me! I don't know, I just seem to be drawn to that German exhibit. Hmm? Well, just mow down the old people, that's fine, kids. Hey, hey, we're young and perky, get the hell out of our way! Here is a world of communication. Who are you? For your needs of today and tomorrow. Bringing together all people in a new era of understanding. Except the annoying poor. 
Introducing the rotary phone. I'm in the phone pavilion, dear, and I'm wearing a fright wig. Keeping in touch by means of the amazing new Bell Boy is the Bell System's answer today for doctors, salesmen, delivery men, or anyone who must be available at all times in the fast-paced world of Century 21. When someone calls and you are out, you can be reached by dialing your Bell Boy code number. Of course, this assumes that anyone wants to call you. <laughs> My pacemaker! When you get a signal on the bellboy, you can go to a phone to call your officer home and get the message. Call me later, Tuts, okay? This is the automatic dialer. Just listen for dial tone, insert a number card, and press the start bar. Then run! The bell system automatic dialer dials for you more quickly and easily than you can do it yourself. Here, you tell Mom I'm pregnant. <laughs> Numbers you call frequently can be punched on small plastic cards. Push button phoning! Thank you. Yeah, let's head over to the steak and martini pavilion. <laughs> Hi, this is the Bell System's new touch tone dialing. With this indicator, you see how many seconds you save the new way. No. Let's try it. Okay, I'll race you. Ready? And in 40 Go. years, there will still be a $2 surcharge for this service, despite the technology having proliferated everywhere on the planet. Really? I'm oh, sorry. I beat you. Yeah, beating me. Real big victory. Welcome to our exhibit. Mm. I'm glad to have this opportunity to tell you about the telephone switching center of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The electronic central office, which is made possible by the magic of the transistor and other tiny but amazing devices invented by the Bell Telephone Laboratory. I'm Sharon Lawrence. Imagine, if you can, an electronic brain operating at millionth of a second speed. No. I say brain because the new electronic central office will almost spin for itself. It will not only carry out instructions you <laughs> into it, it will also remember instructions you provided earlier. These memory features will offer many convenient services I'm sure you'll be delighted with. For one thing, you'll be able to reach frequently called numbers by dialing only two digits. All you'll have to do is give the telephone company a list of the numbers you dial most frequently. The electronic brain's memory will do the rest. The Fiora will like that. To see how it works, please watch the screen. Wait, that phone's hanging on the wall. What will they think of next? Wow. Is it time to phone Grandma? Now, let's see. No. All right. Now, let's say you want to call your mother, who lives in Des Moines. Why? You call her fairly often, so the telephone company has assigned 53 as your special number for making this call. When you dial the 5 and the 3, the electronic central office's brain says, uh-oh, nothing special. Searches its memory for what those two digits represent. And dials the area code plus the phone number in Des Moines for you. Grandma's Barbara Bush. Hello? Hello, Grandma! Where's my money? Ever been invited out for an evening? No. And had to turn it down because you're expecting an extra special call? No. <laughs> Well, the electronic central office will solve that problem for you, too. When you do go out, it will be a simple matter to have your calls transferred. All you'll have to do is dial a special code, which tells the equipment's brain you want your calls transferred, and then dial the telephone number where you can be reached. The hit is ordered. Our amazing electronic central office will take it from there. Then you can go off with your drinking and pill popping. Wow. I think it's a wonderful call for you. That must be JFK. Hello? Diane? No, this isn't Diane. It's Linda. Linda? What gives? <laughs> this is Jim Morton. I was calling Diane Brown. Oh, yes, she's here. She had her calls transferred to my house. We're lovers now. Hi, Jim. And what about those times someone has tried to call you and your line is busy? Uh, yeah. We thought of that, too. We're the best. Fine, Sarah, that's fine. I'll have the information for you at the meeting next Wednesday. When you hear the beep tone on your telephone, you know someone else is trying to reach you. Sarah, will you hold on just a minute? Someone else is trying to reach me. All you do is flick the switch hook to hold the first call while you hello? take the second. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. I was just talking to Sarah. But I left her hanging. I love doing that. I see. Okay, dear, would you tell Fred next time he's in town, he's to bring Helen, right? In a body bag. Bye, dear. Hmm. You flick the button back and go on with your first call. Hello, Sarah. That was Bert calling. Easy as pie, isn't it? And here's another feature you're going to find handy. Now, look. 
Sarah Jane knows a lot more about that than I do. Why don't we get her on the line and find out? Okay, just a minute. <laughs> Want someone else on the line? No. That's easy, too. Flip the switch button, then dial a code number and the number you want. And presto. Well, on Dante, maybe. Soon you'll have all your friends hanging up on you and dreading your calls. Hello, Jane. This is Martha. Doesn't I have Sarah on the line, and we want to know what to do about... About what? As we look to the future, <laughs> yeah. we see many extras for tomorrow's telephone users. One day, you may be able to call home and automatically turn off the oven. If you're dumb enough to have left it on. Or, from a public telephone a couple of hundred miles away... Tell your mistress you can't get away from your wife. Turn on your home air conditioner and have the house nice and cool when you return from your hot trip. It may even be possible to call and water the lawn during that dry spell when you are many miles away on vacation. <laughs> yeah, how do you like it when the lawn piddles on you? I called your blow comb, honey. <laughs> Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? <laughs> but it is all possible because of the basic research our scientists and engineers at the Bell Telephone Laboratories are doing to make your service better day by day. From their work has come breakthrough after breakthrough in science. Providing the intricate devices that lie at the heart of your telephone service of tomorrow. Through the invention of better things, we are trying very hard to give you the kind of telephone service you want and need. And we think you'll agree, after seeing the many exhibits we have here, there is no end to telephone progress now or in Century 21. That evening, the oppressive cloud of the phone company hung heavy over the world. That is one impressive corn dog stand. Oh, I like the giant bowl of soup exhibit here. <laughs> it's a vicious gang of Air France stewardesses. Sounds like something from side five of Sandinista. On a needle up high, you can look through the eye and you're seeing it all. At the Annie Sprinkle Show. Yes, you're seeing it all. As the present unfolds, what the future beholds, you're elated. But you can't escape death. Don't examine your soul, just get speed dialing. See the art shows, watch the thoroughfare. On the boulevards, leading everywhere. Ride a rickshaw, dine on caviar. You can tell a phone a star. Someday you will ache like it's I a ache. Age on a beautiful stage, demonstrated for you. It's just phones, jeez. Been created for you. Uh, where did we park? It's just a part. We died. We're in heaven. The thrilling star. You know, look, it's just a peep show. It's not like I want to cheat on you or anything. Jeez. A written transcript of this program.